Are you working on a big project or a big goal in your career or business and you're not making any traction towards it? If so, this week's episode is for you. You know, most of the women in my community are ambitious. They've got dreams, they've got desires to do something meaningful and to do work that aligns to who they really are. Yet, as women, we can self-sabotage, we can get in our own way because we are also thinking about the loved ones in our lives, we care about our kids, our partners, our family, our friends, our neighbors. And sometimes what that can mean is that there's very little left in the tank for ourselves to achieve our own goals and our own desires. And if that's you, I invite you to really listen closely. Because here's the thing, if you're going to make a dream or desire happen, you have to make a commitment to what it is that you want. So this starts with making a commitment to allocating time for yourself to work on what it is that you want. It starts with a commitment to looking after yourself, be it in terms of sleep, the food you eat, exercise, meditation, time out if you're an introvert like me, to really make sure that you get restored and you feel filled up so that you can then go out there and complete that project or that desire of yours. Because here's the thing, too often we subconsciously commit to the drama, the fear, the reasons why you can't, the reasons why you shouldn't, and the reasons why you're just not good enough to do it. And I invite you this week to drop the drama and to make a commitment instead to figuring out your own answers and to prioritizing what it is that you want. Because here's the thing, you pursuing that goal, pursuing that project, pursuing that dream isn't really just about you. It is in service to others in two ways. Firstly, the direct impact, right? That project, that goal, or whatever you're working on, I'm guessing has an impact on somebody else. Whether you've started a business to help other moms or you want to pursue this creative project because you want to start a little products line, or you know, if you're working in corporate, you want to go for that promotion so that you can manage a team and be a role model to other people and other women in the firm, that benefits them. But more importantly as well, it benefits you too, because when you're doing more of what you love and you're creating, you're being, you're in that flow and that energy of what it is that you truly desire and what you truly want, that energy flows through. You are being a different person. You handle yourself differently in everyday situations from not being bothered if someone cuts in front of you in traffic to having more patience with the person in front of you at the shopping um, line and they're you know fumbling around for their wallet because you're in this beautiful state and you're not gonna be too concerned about these little things that happen in life. So I invite you to ask yourself this question, what am I committed to? Am I committed to myself and these goals and desires of mine? Or am I committed to everybody else and what everybody else wants? And if you feel like the two conflicting, conflicting camps, particularly as a mom, I get this sometimes, you know, it feels like you've got to be this way to be a perfect mom and you've got to be this way to be a business owner. I invite you to think about how can I embody both? How can I embrace both? How can I do both in the way that feels good to me and good to others? So that's my message for you this week. And just remember, there's no one in the world who can do what you do the way you do it. And we want to see what you have to offer. And most importantly, I want to see you feeling good and creating from this beautiful space that makes you feel amazing. Have a beautiful week.